probably comes as no surprise that my boxes are all beat to hell, so I'm going to try to permanently affix them to the rack. Desperate times call for desperate measures. My Camel ADV brace, which I bought to reinforce the faulty front clip on the motorcycle, has pretty much just disintegrated. The bracket here not only busted, but it busted right here at this mounting point as well, so this thing's just disintegrating. It's a bit rough and it doesn't fit, but at least it was expensive. So I've got that going for me. The Grand Isle of Chiloé, the second largest island in Chile after Tierra del Fuego. Steeped in folklore, birthplace of the potato, and home to our dear friends, Max and Rahina, who some of you may remember from season one. After playing Gaucho and a tour of Castro, Chiloé's capital city founded in 1567, we departed for a day trip to Lemuy Island Lemuy Island, called Isla Ballena by the locals due to its distinctive shape, is the second largest island in the archipelago next to Chiloé. The island's population of approximately 5,000 inhabitants is spread across nine small villages dotting the island. Far away from the bright lights and big city of Castro, Lemuy is a stronghold for Chilote culture and tradition including numerous wooden chapels, which Chiloé is famous for. It's also famous for its controversial role in salmon farming, with both salmon and oyster cages lining the shore of the calm inland coast. But we weren't here for the seafood. We were here to ride the whale tail, a narrow isthmus with a single road winding far above the ocean on either side. Crossing the isthmus, we made the descent to Detif, the lone village on the far side of the island, where a steep dirt track took us to the enchanted forest of La Valadora. Departing our lofty perch at the easternmost tip of the whale tail, Chad set his sights on a remote track at the base of the southernmost tip, attempting to weave together a maze-like series of roads back from whence we came. But no sooner had we hit the coast 
then our dirt roads turn to sand, our arch nemesis. It wasn't long before Chad and our clutch had had enough. Sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. Retreating inland, we were happy to hit the pavement once again, across the isthmus and back to the ferry. Backtracking through Castro, we continued north to explore the rocky Pacific coastline outside of Ancud, Rahina's birthplace, and home to some of the only beach riding on the island. Crossing the peninsula over the notoriously steep and rocky Chilote back roads, we made it to Bahia Cocotui, our home for the night, where we indulged in a bit of treasure hunting before enjoying the sunset over the Pacific Ocean. Departing our seaside camp, we made our way south to Rahina's family ranch and a traditional chilote barbecue in our honor, complete with sidre, a homemade fermented cider, and asado al palo. The perfect way to round out our week on the Grand Isle of Chiloé. Thank <laughs> you. 